Welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. MLB The Show has interleague action for you this afternoon. It's the Houston Astros and the Washington Nationals. Joined by my partner, Chris Singleton, I'm John Shabby. Chris, one guy having a big year for this club, leading the team at home runs and runs batted in, C.J. Abrams. Yeah, Boog, he's one of the pillars of this lineup, and when you have a guy like that that's so consistent and so productive, you want to make sure you can do whatever you can to get him to the plate. Get him as many at-bats as you can in a ball game. If you do that, you've got a really good chance of scoring a lot of runs. Well, he's not a rookie, but still very young in this game, learning his craft. I think the key is getting consistent reps and the opportunity to develop his stuff. Looking forward to watching him pitch in this one. Jose Altuve in the box now. No balls and a strike. Here comes the 1. There's the strike. Up and in, and it's one and two. Righty to the plate. Misses inside. inside. Ball two. Wouldn't Here chase that go. time. It's a leadoff walk, and that's the go-ahead run. Now, this is a story we were paying attention to before the game. We've seen him give up walks in the past, and it's an issue once again early on. Now it's Jordan Alvarez. That one finds the zone, and that's strike one. All one's the count. Line to left. That's a base hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel any vibration in your hands whatsoever. Such a good feeling. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity. Right on top of it. Here's Alex Bregman. Right through there for a strike. And that one fouled off. Altuve, the lead runner out at second. Alvarez on at first with nobody out. That misses. Now one and two. Good purpose pitch right there. Trying to tease him, get him to raise his sights, pop something up, and make it an easy out. In the dirt. Count moves to two and two as the runners hold. Still two and two after the foul ball. that pitch down Kyle Tucker waits on deck three two that one is absolutely belted way back tattooed to tater town population you bro he powers that one out of here his first homer of the year, it's 3-0. Singy, he's been battling all season long for that swing. And I'm sure a big weight off of his shoulders, Boog. He probably feels 20 pounds lighter jogging around the bags.
No, oh, Boog, clearly some frustration out there on the mound right now. I mean, that ball was so close to going foul. Would have been a long strike, but instead, batter gets rewarded. Did a nice job of getting to the pitch and hitting it hard enough to get over the fence. Here's Kyle Tucker. And a That's good a eye there. Can be tough to bounce oh, back no, after a no big strike. home run, but nobody on, nobody out. You just have to treat it as a fresh inning. The 1-0. And that's a strike. So now here's Kyle Tucker. Tucker, former fifth overall pick in the 2015 draft by the Astros. This guy's that's turned into a whale of a player. 2-1. Left hand hitter waits. Lace down the line. Could be extra bases. Makes the turn and heads for second. The throw in. And he starts his afternoon off right with a double. Love how he let that ball travel. Trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way. So, man aboard. Next is the designated hitter, Yaner Diaz. And the pitch a little bit low, ball one. one Tucker up. hits for power. He's got 30 homer power, but the strikeout rate is under 20%. No outs, runner on second. Hey. Right through there for a strike. And strike two. One ball, two strikes. Man at second. And ball another ball. Strike. First inning and already up to 23 pitches. That Three, one misses. And a full count now. And the pitch. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. Right hander kicks, deals. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. Breaks his bat and pops it up. Fires over to first. That was a strong at bat, even though he couldn't find a way on base. Now we check out the Astros lineup. And no doubt a big factor in this series so far, Alex Bregman. Yeah, Boog, and he's been just clutch for this team so far in the series. Five runs batted in to this point. You know, guys like him who can just slow the game down, quiet the nerves when their runners on base or pressure situations, they're as valuable as it gets. We'll see if he keeps making an impact today. Jeremy Pena, batting with one down, takes a strike. There are lots of pitches thrown in this first inning, and it's kind of that nightmare scenario for starting pitching. But you know what? It's still early enough. He can settle in. He can get some length if he just cleans up his mechanics a little bit. Hey. Swing and a miss, and he was fooled. Good late sink on that fastball. Out of the hand looks so good, and then by the time he gets in the hitting zone, hard to get the barrel to it. Just misses the mark outside the zone. This is a situation where the hitter is looking for something up in the zone that he can get his arms extended. What you have to be careful of is that pitch that's up, that's in on your hands. That'll pop you up in the infield, and that's exactly what the pitcher wants. Right-hander deals. 
That's a base hit. Run scores. Well done. Drives in the run. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy. Didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep. Took the barrel right to it and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. One gone runner at first. Here's Mauricio Dubon. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Well, a really rough inning out there on the mound. And uh, this is one of those where you learn a lot about a guy's toughness and his ability to turn the page and keep pressing forward. And here it comes. And there's a hit. They get it in quickly. So first and second, now one out. Two consecutive base hits for these guys here. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. Jose Abreu up to hit. And that's down and away. Swing and a miss, strike one. And he swings through that one. Well, that's that slope right there. He threw it extremely well. And talk about just a ton of breaks. So tough to get that barrel to. And there's a rocket into the outfield. Headed for the plate. The throw to third. Not in time. He's safe. A run comes in on the play. That's three singles in a row. That's a good sound coming off the bat, man. And as he connected out front and lifted into the outfield, that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a pure stroke. Robert Garcia gets the call from the pen. This southpaw's been really good against left-handed hitters. Vic Caratini at the plate. A switch hitter batting right. And ball, foul ball. ball. Lefty out of the stretch. Runners at first and third. Edge of the zone. Call the strike. 0-2. Great spot to be in right here for the pitcher. You can either strike this guy out or get ground ball double play. And that's too high. This hitter's been seeing good velocity in the at-bat. It's kind of set up for that changeup. He hasn't seen it yet. Looks just like a fastball out of the hand. There's a swing and a drive. Hops over the wall, and that's an automatic double. And a run comes in to score. Well, there's something really nice about getting yourself an automatic double like that. You get to stroll into second base without having to worry about a throw or getting your uniform dirty. And now you're just looking for the next guy to kind of do the same thing. Maybe put one in the gap so you can jog home as well. Oh, Altuve in now. Takes ball one off the plate. Altuve officially joined the 2000 hit club in 2023 with every career hit as a Houston Astro. Third player in club history with 2,000 hits and 200 home runs. Jeff Bagwell, one Craig ball, Biggio, those are the two others, and that's some great company, Boo. Action in the pen down there. Trevor Williams getting loose out there. Line drive. He's got it, and there's two away. That swing right there tells me he's seeing the ball pretty well. I know it didn't produce a hit, but he made solid contact, and that's all you're looking to do anytime you're at the plate. Here's Jordan Alvarez. One for one with a single and a run scored so far. Oh. 
just missed. One on count. Look for him to be aggressive here. He got some runners on base, an opportunity to catch a mistake and put some runs up on the board. Two on, two outs. One ball, two strikes. And that's in the dirt. Two strikes. Two outs. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. And now the lefty swing and a miss struck him out inning over although plenty of damage done so a great inning there as they bat around to score six times to open up the lead on to the bottom of the first it's the Astros six and the Nats coming to bat back in Washington D.C. and towing the slab J.P. France what should we keep an eye on here. Well, this guy featuring that straight forcing fastball, but off of it throws the cutter, and really he's most effective when he's using that cutter off the forcing fastball just to miss the barrel of the bat. Not always going to see the swings and misses, but if you can somehow get weaker contact, you have a chance to collect some outs. Now, it's going to look the same until the very last second, so hitters are going to have to make a decision and hope that sometimes they're able to guess right. The wind of the pitch. C.J. Abrams stands in now and watches strike one. Well, every pitcher wants run support, and having a lead is nice, but it can be challenging for some guys. I think keeping the mindset to attack instead of trying to be too oh, fine and have too much finesse, go after hitters and get quick outs. The One shortstop ball. takes Two a ball. Strike. And the Two next pitch down. is way outside. Righty delivers. That one ripped left field. Hops over the wall, and that's an automatic double. Well, there's something really nice about getting yourself an automatic double like that. You get to stroll into second base without having to worry about a throw or getting your uniform dirty. And now you're just looking for the next hitter to kind of do the same thing. Maybe put one in the gap so you can jog home as well. Here's Jesse Winker. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Abrams leads off second with nobody out. That hey. one finds the zone, and it's one and one. And I'll another ball. Wouldn't That's chase outside. that time. That one out to right. Tucker should have it. He's got it. Runner tags at second. And he's in safely at third with one out. That is good. The right field. Here's Dave Martinez lineup for the Nationals. One guy leading the way offensively for this club right now, C.J. Abrams. Boog, he's really been showing off the pop in this series so far. Two homers, and you know he'd love to add on with another shot today. I'm interested to see how they approach him. Here's Lane Thomas. First nope. pitch misses. Pretty smart not to serve something up for him right there. He's really good at hitting the first pitch. There's a strike. I got a ball, one strike. Two 
That's in there. One and two. And he deals. And they'll do it again. Run around at third, one gone. That Ball one two. missed. It's a good take. Kicks and fires. Stays alive. Here comes the pitch. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Ninth pitch of the at bat due next. Got him looking. And he didn't like the call. No, just couldn't pull the trigger on the fastball right there, and I don't think he was taking it, thinking it might be a called ball or anything. I just think he was flat out frozen. Did not expect that location, in my opinion. Pena tosses to first, and the inning is over. So one left for Washington, still up against a six-nothing deficit. here in Nationals Park. Second inning set to go. And stepping in for the Astros, Alex Bregman. Garcia, a tall lefty, 225 pounds, and he found his way onto the team after being claimed off waivers. And a pitch. And that's off the inside edge. Ball one. Right through there for a strike. Daryl Parker assigned to umpiring duty behind home plate. And Boog with DP, it's sort of a coin flip on those borderline corner pitches. Doesn't really favor one side of the plate more than the other. Sometimes you'll get a little extra of the plate, and sometimes you won't. It does oh, seem wow. like he evens it out over the course of a game, though. The pitch. And there's a foul ball. That missed inside. And it's three and two. The pitch. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. And the pitch. The 3 ball 2 ball. is off the outside Perfect. edge, and that is ball four. His ability to draw walks has been something that's been part of his career since day one. Kyle. Man at first. Now it's the right fielder, Kyle Tucker. One for one with a double and a run score. And it's fouled away. And he'll one. That's ball. down and in. I got one ball, one strike. Next Whoa, offering down. is down low. The pitch. And ball downstairs. Three. The Strohs one up strike. big in this one here at the top of the second. Next offering is in for a strike. Okay. At the belt and fires. That one hammered center field. Winker drop step going back. Tattooed and gone. Kyle Tucker sends it out. It's his sixth home run of the season, and they add to their lead. It's 8-0. Knew what pitch he wanted to hit. Spent on some other pitches in this. At bat was very patient, and it paid off.
And here is Gainer Diaz. 0 for 1 so far. There's the strike. Kicks and deals. Swing and a pop up. Foul out of play off to the right side. That'll find the stands. And that one is lifted in the air. Sizing this one up, makes the catch, and there's one gone. It's a good recovery, though, after giving up the home run. Not allowing it to stay in the head, but going to work at the next hitter, and a tough one at that. And now the shortstop, Jeremy Pena. Singled and drove in a run his first time through. And that's off the inside edge. And that is ball one. High fly ball lifted in the air right field. Pulls it in on the run. Two away down. The center fielder, number 14, Mauricio. Now at the Dubon. plate, Mauricio Dubon singled and scored his first time. That one finds the zone. That's strike one. Two down, nobody on. The other way, and it goes just foul. And a pitch. This to center field. Winker heads towards it and puts the squeeze on that one. And that is that. Two-run shot for the Astros this inning. It's now an 8-0 game. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. And welcome back to the ballpark. Bottom of the second. Up now for Washington, Joey Manessis. The wind of the pitch. There's a strike. Clearly down in this ball game, and you can't look at the deficit and try to get it all back in one swing. It's got to come one at bat at a time and even shrink it down smaller, pitch to pitch. Make that guy on the mound work to get you out. He swings and fouls one off. Not even close there. Going to count one and two. And that one a little bit high. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Ball, another 2 2 upcoming. The pitch. Just off the inside corner. And it's three and two. The pitch. Left field. Alvarez in position. Pulls it in for the out. One down. Batting six. The first baseman, Joey. Here's Joey Gallo. Gallo. He has, as they like to say, let me guess, Boog, light tower power. That's right. Rip to third and caught. That at bat is a positive sign, even though it probably doesn't feel like it. You hit the ball hard, but it doesn't always work out in your favor. Sometimes a defender is there to make a play. Now it's Nick Senzel. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Two down, nobody on. Bottom half of inning number two. Next offering is in for a strike.
Spoils the two strike pitch and he'll see another. Two outs. Swings and misses. And a nice inning of work there as he sets him down. One, two, three. Nationals go quietly. And they're on the short end of an 8-0 score. And we're back. And now the first baseman, Jose Abreu. Leading off from Houston, the first baseman, Jose Abreu. Here comes a pitch. Misses Ooh, inside. And that's ball one. Well, these Astros really producing with runners on. It's been a right place, right time kind of game for them. They put a bunch of runs on the board, thanks in large part to four hits with runners in scoring position. Kicks and fires. Foul ball. And he deals. That one fouled off. And now the lefty. Spoils that one and it remains two and two. And a pitch. He swings and hits a fly ball, center field. And out number one on the grab. On top of that, they haven't left many guys on base, so they've been efficient getting runners on and finding ways to bring them home. And now, Victor Caratini doubled in his first AB. Next pitch is downstairs. One oh. Just missed. Tried to backdoor him with that slider right there, but just missed off the plate. Good pitch, though. To third. Gathers and throws to first. And they got him. Jose Altuve up to it here. He's 0 for 1. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Dives and he can't hang on. He decides to eat it and the defense comes away with nothing. Next to hit, you're Don Alvarez. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Altuve off of first with two away. Two outs. And there's a fly ball deep right field. And he brings it in on the warning track. No runs, one hit, no errors, and a man left. We head down to the home half of inning number three. It's the Astros eight and the Nationals nothing. Back in Washington, D.C., ready to go for the last half of the inning. Here's Eddie Rosario. Eddie Rosario. 
The wind and the pitch. That one laced to center and a base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride and load out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. Riley Adams, the batter now as he swings and misses for strike one. On the ground to third. Off balance speed, there's one. On to Jose Abreu, that's two. If you blink, you might miss it, and that's the magic of the 5-4-3 double play. It happens so fast, which is a huge reason why this is such a delicate sequence. The entire play will break down if one person has bad timing. Rips one to right, and that's a fair ball. And that rolls into the corner. Around first and hustling for second. In safely, it's a double and his second hit. Well, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. Fastball pretty much middle-middle, and that's what you fall asleep dreaming about as a hitter. So no surprise he put a great swing on it. Man at second here with two away. Next to hit for the Nats, Jesse Winker. First pitch misses. Man on second, two down. That one pushed to the left and foul. Swing and a bouncer. Abreu. He takes it himself oh. to the bag, and that'll do it. Nationals leave one. Still eight, nothing. Back here in Nationals Park. Now it's Alex Bregman. And here it comes. Pitch misses there. One and oh. Nope. And a good eye there. Well, usually a high level of confidence when you're facing a young pitcher out there on the mound. In this situation, ahead 2 0. He's put himself in a really good spot. And that one is inside. And there's the automatic. And it's ball four. He missed down low. Oh, you know this guy wants to swing it, but he's showing some good patience in this one. It's the second time he's taken ball four. So, man aboard, Kyle Tucker. Up next for the Astros. He's already homered in this game. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. The next yep, pitch misses, and it's a ball and a strike. Bregman on at first, nobody out. Next offering is in for a strike. And there's a ball. And a pitch. Still two and two after the foul ball. The pitch. This one lifted in the air, left field. Rosario puts it away. And at first, Yainer Diaz digs in now. And 
And first offering is fouled off. And a pitch. Good oh, eye in that spot. Good miss with that change up away. He needs a ball on the ground for a double play. Minimize the potential threat right here on the hitter side. Nice job of laying off that pitch. The 1-1. One, one. And that's in there at the knees for a strike. And that's a great take right there. Even though it's a strike, with the situation runner on first base, you want to keep the ball off the ground. And you swing at that pitch, most likely you roll into a double play. And that'll fall for a base hit. And they'll have runners at the corners after a one-out single. I don't think that pitch would have been called a strike, but he did such a nice job of pulling his hands tight to the body and just getting enough of the barrel on it to be hard enough back up the middle for a knock. Trevor Williams takes over on the mound. I think it's got to be a little tough coming in out of the pen when your guys are trailing so big on the scoreboard. Just doesn't have the same intensity to it, but he's got to find a way because these batters count the same for his stats, obviously, regardless of the score. And now it's going to be Jeremy Pena, one for two. This to third. Fires to second for one. Throw off line. He's safe. And a nice job there to keep it from getting away. I promise you, they're guys that get a little bit faster when they can smell an RBI. That was a possible inning ending double play. Great hustle, and he gets rewarded with the RBI because of it. So next up for Houston, Mauricio Dubon. Runner on the go. Pitch in for a strike. Safe at second with a stolen base. Singy, he definitely showed off the wheels there. Yeah, and it turned out to be a bang-bang play. StatCast gives us the data, and that stolen base wasn't possible without that sprint speed. Runner at second, two down. Top of the zone, and it's called a strike. And a bat like this is almost over as it begins. In this situation, you have no idea what the next pitch is going to be. You just got to hope that you can make contact. Right-hander kicks, deals. Foul ball, it stays nothing in two. Righty to the plate. Foul ball still 0 and 2. Two outs and one in scoring position. And that skips in the dirt. This guy's a fun guy to watch taking it bad. He just battles up there. He doesn't take a pitch off at all. Makes it so difficult on the pitchers out there. You can tell they get frustrated with how long it takes to put him away. Right-handed reliever. That, that one missed. Two balls, two strikes. Up and in. And now it's three and two. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. Good job at damage control right there. So a run on one hit, no errors, and a man left. To the bottom of inning number four now. It's the Astros nine and the Nationals nothing. And welcome back to the ballpark. Bottom of the fourth, and now the right fielder, Lane Thomas. The pitch. On its way to the corner. One away. And now it's Luis Garcia. Grounded out his first time. Oh, he doesn't get the call. And it's one to no. Base is empty one away. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. 
Swing and a miss. Nice changeup. One and, one. and he really sells the changeup with that arm action. Just oh, off the inside edge. One down, base is empty. And oh, another ball. Here's an opportunity to do some damage and perhaps unlock this offense. 3 1 count. Be ready to turn on a fastball. And a foul ball. One out, base is empty. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. Payoff pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Two gone now. He's locked in at the plate when he's using the whole field. He was out in front there. Just needs to let the ball travel a little more, and his timing will be back on track. Good pitch for the strikeout. Menezes stands in with two away as he ball takes a ball. Right. Next offering is in for a strike. Two out spaces empty. The next offering misses. And a count two and one. Fall off foul. And down on strikes. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. Nothing doing for Washington. Steep hill to climb. It's a nine nothing deficit. We go to the top of the fifth. And here's the first baseman, Jose Abreu. Williams goes six feet, three inches, 31 years old. And he was a second round pick back in 2013. Williams back to work hey. and that gets the top of the zone oh, for a strike with all these Astros doing a good job of putting the ball into play and that makes things more challenging on the defensive side only two strikeouts so far and obviously they've been able to pick up plenty of hits so it's been an impressive one and you know that strikeout total only two so far really tells you they're not just running into good luck and getting hits to fall they're earning those knocks. Caratini stands in here, takes ball one low. Base is empty one away, and we're at the top of the fifth. And strike one to the catcher. One down, base is empty. Fights that one away, still one and two. The pitch. That That's one misses. Two. And the count is two and two. Two, two the count. And That's another ball. ball. And that's, that's too ball high, ball. ball four. Just missed there. Ooh. How would you describe oh, your strike zone? Kind of like a weeble, large. So the batting order turns over. Here's the former MVP, Jose Altuve. That one is upstairs. Next oh, offering is downstairs. Can't find it here. That's six straight balls. Oh, 
And he swings and lifts one to deep center field. Caught just shy of the wall. Man, he smoked that fastball. He's all over it. It's just frustrating when you can't get it to fall. Maybe next time off, he'll find a hole. Here's the left fielder, Jordan Alvarez. One for three. Right through there for a strike. Misses outside. And a count even one and one. No, he's really working him away this at bat. Sometimes take a little bit off velocity. Try to get a rollover, something on the ground. Stay away from that big hole on the right side of the infield. Righty delivers. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Two outs. Two balls, two strikes. And that's a little bit high. Full count three and two. Alex Bregman hitting on deck circle. Caratini, the runner at first with two gone. And that's ball four. Well, interesting. He went with the off speed and walked the hitter. Man, you got to challenge the guy with the fastball. And now it's Alex Bregman. He's already homered here in this one. Two on, two outs. In for a strike. And a count is 0-2. Well, this is a higher leverage spot, and I love the way that he's turned things around. He's got two outs now ahead in this count, and he can pretty much dictate what's going to happen next in terms of the pitch sequence. And the righty deals. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Two left for the Astros, but they're still in command. 9-0. Bottom of the inning, and now the first baseman, Joey Gallo. The first baseman. He is very much your typical power hitter. I'd say he falls into the three true outcomes category. Well, we've seen more and more of that lately. The ability to drive the ball to slog is getting heavily favored over any discipline or strikeout concerns. You know, these Nationals just haven't produced as many competitive at-bats as I'd like to see in this one. They really haven't worked many deep. Now, this ball is well hit. This one's got a chance. And that one is off the wall. Around second now, going for three. And he's got a leadoff triple. Well, oh, that'll make you feel good as a hitter right there. Came screaming off the bat, I'm sure. Exit velocity's off the charts. No doubt he squared that baseball up perfectly. So there was no fluke to that triple by any means. Down the third baseman, Nick Senzel. And that's in there at the knees. And that's in the dirt. And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. Abreu drifts towards it. Oh, he brought it back. The left field, number eight, Eddie Rosario. Eddie Rosario digging in for the Nationals. And there's the strike. Kicks and deals. Swings through that one.
and he'll two. And ball, ball one. one. Excellent arm action on one that two-strike two changeup. Yeah. Just missed. Man, he wanted that call. One, two now. Fights it off. You'll see another. The Nats with a lot of ground to make up. Last half of inning number five. And ball there's two. the ball. Hey, Wouldn't ball. chase that time. Three, two. Line drive, base hit, and a run comes in. A couple of hits in a row for him here. A lot of hitters tell themselves, line drive over the infielder's head. That's what I'm trying to do. Just keep that approach simple. And right there, it was perfectly executed. On time with everything, and pulled it into the gap nicely. And now up for Washington, Riley Adams. Yes. He hit into a double play his first time up. Plenty of offense in this one, Singy. I guess you'd say kind of what we expected, though. Well, this was a game, looking at the pitching matchup, where you expected offense to score, and not as lopsided as this. Um, but, yeah, you definitely expected to see some offense coming up. Man at first, one away. Right through there for a strike. That's and another two. ball. Two balls, one strike. And a strike in there. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. Now only one out remaining. Last chance for the Nats in this one. C.J. Abrams digging in for the Nationals. And the first pitch misses for ball one. In the air, left field down the line. And that drops foul. They're down to their final strike. He's been able to go inside as well as outside, effectively working both sides of the plate in this at bat. This could end it. And the right hander deals. That misses the zone. Two and two. And that's awfully close. I don't know how you take that. He's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well right now. Swing and a miss, and he got him. And that is the ball game. Well, he went the distance for that first MLB win, Boog. I think it's impressive how much trust the skipper already has in him. This could be the start of something great. 9-1 is how it ends. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chambi saying so long.